Hey guys, part two of software to print, uh, DaVinci 1.0 by XYZ Printing. Um, so this is going to be the second part. Uh, I pressed the print button, as you guys saw at the la end of the last video. About four minutes later, it did some slicing, and then it said, hey, do you want me to transmit this to the printer? I pressed transmit, and then it just transmitted it over. So right now, my computer is sleeping. Um, all of this is being ran off an SD card in the back of the machine um, that you can't access. It's like taped in. Um, with the back panel. I'll show another video of, of what that looks like. Um, but let's go up to the top and kind of show what's happening up here. Um, it says building, time, past, estimated, left, um, active or active menu. So let's press OK, see what, see what I can do. It says print mode. Oh, so print mode, just the standard mode and there's a pause and a cancel. So don't want to do any of those. So that's all you can do. Let's see, can, can you press home? Can't do that. Can't do that. Everything else is locked out. So while it's printing, it's basically this screen. But it's nice. It shows, uh, you know, time. Time passed, 40 minutes. Estimated 20. So this will be about an hour-long print. Um, let's get inside, and maybe we can see a little bit um, how it's printing, and maybe a little bit of the quality. But this is point two. Uh, millimeter layer heights. This the infill is uh, heavy. I think it was chosen as heavy. Speed is standard, um, but you really standard speed really cranks. It goes pretty quick. Um, I mean, it's probably equivalent to what a MakerBot replicator runs at. It's not like an Ulti machine or Ulti maker that you know it's going really really fast. Um, but you know it's not not slow at all there is a faster mode so i'm very curious how fast that is you might be able to see that there we go maybe prints look really nice it looks pretty smooth um you know i'll actually pop this i'll take some pictures of these parts after i'm done um, but i want to give you guys a little bit of lesson with this machine that i learned um i did start this print off before and i did not put any of this glue down so i'm going to suggest to always put some glue, rub some glue on top. I've worked a lot with uh, rip wraps, um, open source 3D printers. Um, I've always used ABS or PLA, not ABS. So I've never been involved with this problem before. Um, you know, but you know, you rub this down right on top of the surface of the bed. It sticks. It goes just fine. But to give you an idea, this most of it stuck. I think there's one little. One of these blades just, you know, what did not stick all the way and stick it up like that. So I stopped the print. Um, but, you know, these these little uh, rings, no problem, man. They just suck right down. I think it's just because of all the detail in this part. There's a lot of little detail right at the beginning. Um, so let's go up to the top and maybe we can see a little bit better while it's printing. But let's just kind of roll up here. So, there we go. So you can see maybe, whoa, there we go. There's, there's one of the Nautilus wheels right there, and there's the other connector. I'll go up to the top door, and we might be able to see a little bit better. So let's open the top door up, and listen while I open it up. It beeps at you, it says, uh, close top door. Oh, I just closed it. But it says, top door open, close top door. It doesn't make you stop, so just keep on going. Um, but here we go. So you can look at the top. There we go. There's a nice top view of the prints. It looks like the the gears are getting uh, filled in right now. So um, they're filling uh, filling the, the couple top layers of those gears, um, and the other uh, the other small uh, connectors should be filled in, getting filled in very soon. Um, so while while we're here, you know. I'm just going to give you an idea. This is a really, really sweet setup. This pull, you know how it pulls through. So the motor runs, it pulls this out a little bit, but it's really not that much force. You know, these are 600, these are 600 grams. So it's about, you know, maybe a pound spools or actually less than a pound spools or more than a pound spools. I'm sorry. Um, but you know, just a nice little, uh, nice little setup there. So just, just while the motor runs, NEMA, NEMA, it's a NEMA, 17 directly connected. I um, haven't heard any stepping yet, but here we can kind of maybe we can spin around and check out. There we go. 
So, so there's a nice fan right there. Maybe you can see that. There we go. So there is a there's a fan that blows down into a into like a little uh, deflector. I think it cools down the plastic up higher, but also blows right on top of the material. So that's a nice little feature. And uh, I'm gonna stop this video, but I'm gonna make another one of Nautilus print quality, and you can check out how these turned out and what kind of resolution we get out of this black material. So stay tuned.